made it a point to watch my last update uh, before um, recording my voiceover for this update. That way I am doing a better job of not repeating myself. Um, I haven't ever grown these elephant ears so I'm not really sure on like the maintenance of them. So here you can see that I just kind of yank the leaves off. I'm not very good at throwing them in the compost because I hate walking all the way around. So here's the battle of this leaf. Oh no. <laughs> um, one thing I did notice in the last video is that I'm wearing the same pants and <laughs> it's only kind of super embarrassing. Um, I don't have a lot of pants, so sorry not sorry. <laughs> I've noticed that the gooseberries grow a lot like tomatoes do, and I think it's because they're technically a tomato. Um, but now that I know that, I'm definitely gonna um, do better about caring for them next year. <laughs> it does look like I'm gonna be getting some berries though, so I'm really excited. I picked this caladium because I thought it looked kind of like watermelon. I'm really not sure what this bush is still. It's really everywhere. <laughs> I really want to take it out. Um, I'm going to have to figure out what it is so I can identify it and you know that's the same thing i repeated myself that's cool um this is my lemongrass that i added in right here this poor lemongrass is like dying i left it in the backyard um forever um yeah this is a monarch butterfly cocoon uh, it's hard to tell on the video but it's super metallic on those little dots there. It hung off of the spider wart that I clipped. I trimmed it all down. And now it's just a bunch of stems because apparently spider wart is super hard to get rid of. I think it's safe to say that I figured out what happened to my Chicago fig. And what happened is that I put it in... Um, potting soil I got from the Dollar Tree and I don't I'm not <laughs> I, more, I'll talk about that another time did you know that the seed pods of snapdragons look like fairy skulls look at that terrifying sight <laughs> oh wow so my marigold my favorite one this one it was the color of the smaller one that I pulled down. It was this color. And as it has, you know, been in the sun, it's faded and I didn't know it would do that. I think that's pretty dang cool. <laughs> you could see in that first clip uh, from the intro that my sunflowers are gigantic taller than me now. I'm hoping that they get as big as the ones in the back. That's the little guy I was talking about in the last video. I brought my Boston fern outside. It was sitting in the bathroom and it was the sad. <laughs> um, I did read this and I wanted to show um, what it looked like before. So. I, sometimes I feel like I let this happen on purpose because I really, really enjoy pulling weeds. So, Casper, TV. Mm -hmm. 
I'm really excited for these guys to open and I hope that they open around the same time because they tend to open um, in like one at a time. <laughs> That's how you say that. <laughs> The birds and bugs have been beating us to the berries lately, and I'm not terribly upset, but Finn really likes them, so I wish they would not do that. <laughs> um, here is the thing I was talking about the other day. Um, this is a mother strawberry plant, basically, and here is the runner that gave off a new plant, so I could clip that. Um, runner the connection between that and the mother plant because this guy is obviously established and even giving off its own little baby plant so I can go ahead and clip that whenever I want <laughs> um, more of the gooseberries it really branched it branched out into like more arms so that's kind of cool I love how sad sunflowers look once they're done. They're literally me. Just me. <laughs> that's what that's the sound I think of when I look at those sunflowers now. And here you have a strange display of some Japanese beetles absolutely disrespecting my rose bush. <sighs> Why do they do that? And they eat all of my petals from the um, Swamp Rose Mallow. I, I dislike it quite a bit. Um, those raspberries have gotten very tall. And now uh, I show you my little pumpkin. Look at him. He actually got pollinated. Ah! Usually they don't get pollinated like this right here. Usually when it's yellow like that, I feel like it means it didn't get pollinated or it's not growing right. I don't know. I guarantee that guy's going to be gone. Look at those. I don't know when to pluck those. I feel like... I don't know. Look at that. Okay, I watched the video before and this has grown a lot in one week. Like a lot, a lot. I got some pretty good videos of, you can see a little loofah there, uh, but some pretty good videos of ants. I guess they really like the nectar. I messaged the lady I got the seeds from, and she said they really like the nectar from the whatever this is. <laughs> it's a loofah, I know that, but I don't know what that part of it is called. It's that part. <laughs> Um, man, I'm doing good on that. He's happy. <laughs> oh, look, 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 look. <gasps> Do you see? Do you see what it is? Not the ant. I know that's very fascinating, but <gasps> look it. That's my first loofah. It better get pollinated. It's got plenty of flowers, so you guys better do it. Oh, wow. Man, look at that ant. He's just... Wow. You know, I'm trying to show my... Uh, loofah flowers that are coming up here, but these dang ants really stole the show. <laughs> Look at that. Man. Now, I do want to say that I think this is an old cane, so there is some like leftover berries that were like a little late. Um, but I don't know why I was saying August for these. These are going to be ready soon. 
So like early August? I'm just, I'll take it. August. Cucumber. I cut the tip off. I don't know why. Look at that. <laughs> I've been trying so hard to direct my tomatillos to the other side because that's the side I don't walk on and they just want to be over on my side. It's fine. Oh! <laughs> I still can't really tell if it's completely ripe but I picked it because I wanted to. Um, I can't decide what I'm going to do with it. I will try like a, a little slice of it because I want to give it a chance. It did get overwatered, so it's got some splits on the top, but um, they're mostly stretch marks. They're not open or anything. I don't think there's any bugs in it, hopefully. This has to be overwatering. I feel like I I just I'm not sure. Um, I will be picking some of these tomorrow for a salsa. Um, I'm really excited. I hope they're spicy. I I think I ate one with my breakfast the other day, and it was it was nice. An update on my butt. <laughs> it's getting pretty hefty. I kind of want to make underwear for it. In here you can see that the summer squash did not make it. Um, I hadn't weeded around it so I think it got like too wet and it just it did not make it. <laughs> um, so I'm a little bummed but I tried and uh, that's that's all that matters right? Um, these are how the bell peppers are doing. Uh, I wasn't going to show this because I feel like they didn't look very good, but then I realized, hey, no, I should show that because not all gardens are, like, pristine and, like, all that. Um, here you can see that the gooseberry usually grows straight up, but this one got leggy and then fell and then fell again, and now it's kind of growing. I cannot believe how fast this eggplant grew. When I watched last week and then saw this, I almost pooped my pants. <laughs> my cotton is growing real fast. It likes this heat that we have. That's my favorite onion right there. Don't tell the others. Look at that! Carrots! Carrots, carrots! Uh, I don't know what's wrong with that, so... <laughs> and I also saw that there was a lot of growth on that, too, so that was pretty exciting. Um, still not sure if I'm gonna get any freaking Brussels sprouts. Doesn't look too promising. I've got these little black dots on my broccoli and some of my... Brussels sprout plants and I really don't know what it is. Is that bug poop? Am I battling a pest? I don't know. We'll see. Here's a little potted strawberry that I have. I separated it from... Uh, it, I think this was actually runners that I separated. <laughs> and this philodendron, I brought it outside, and it was hiding leaves inside of really terrible leaves, so I had to do some surgery on it. Look at that. I think that looks so funny. 
I should have moved one of those guys into this pot because those guys are way bigger. But I didn't. Oh well. This is my shy guy. Boop. 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 I don't know. I saw on Instagram that you're not supposed to touch them very often because it'll make them tired and die. But then I did see the original thing I saw was that you should touch them because it makes their immune system better. I don't know. I don't touch them that often, only for videos. <laughs> oh, that sounded bad. Oh no. These peaches uh, apparently will be ready to harvest next month, so <laughs> I'm excited. And um, down on the bottom I have the, uh, I don't know what the scientific name is, but um, I only know it as Crown of Christ. But it's really cool, and I like it a lot. <laughs> oh, floppy boy. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you did. I don't know. This was fun. <laughs>